Sean Sport in podcast form. All right, getting straight uh, stuck into it. The Perth Wildcats, geez, are on a tear. And I know we had Jordan Usher in here on Thursday Mm -hmm. talking about how well the Wildcats have been going. He's been playing particularly well. Yesterday, 24 points. Bryce had 29 against the Sydney Kings. And they followed that up off the back of winning at home on Friday night when they beat Brisbane quite comfortably. It's like a 30 six hour turnaround and with a flight across the country. Jeez. That's that's tough. That's a tough schedule. And and like a lot of people, I'm gonna to have to eat me words about John Rilly because I was so yeah. bored with him. Yeah. And I thought that he couldn't get the team together and probably yeah. didn't have the right mix. Well they do have the right he's mix. Looking at he's looking at coach of the year now, sure. Matt, they changed You've done it again. The starting lineup um uh, with one of the Harris boys playing in there. In the well starting... they had to because Alex Sars out and Christian Doolittle's out so they had to mix it up a bit. Well, just, just people as clearly knowing what they yeah. need to do mm. individually, mm. Uh, playing mm. roles. Do you think that when you were having a rant about him on the wireless, on the wireless. that um, he was maybe listening going, mm. huh, you're going to eat your words one day because he's looking at his whiteboard. He's going, yeah. Sean doesn't see the whole yeah, plan. Yeah, that's right. Sean doesn't know the whole plan. He's got red string going from there. Yeah, to there. yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's like, what an idiot. Yeah, what, what an, an idiot. idiot. And today's the day. And today's the day. So there is I not think, a true word spoken, Sean Ed Morris. I think if somebody was a coach of a sport team, yes. they would want you to go on a rant oh, about them because as that. soon as that happens, mm. they're guaranteed of success. Never forget when you were like, Simon Goodwin's going to be yep. the first coach yep. to be sacked mm. this season and Melbourne won the flag. But it's, not just, that? it's not just Gee, lip service. <laughs> it's not just lip service, though. You can't just say it no, to no, get no. another he answer. You to have to it. believe it. And he does, I, though. I do believe when, it. When you yeah. believe someone's failure, it means that their ultimate success. Yeah. Why Another I, great McManus call. Why didn't I do that with the Scorchers the other day? I did tell... Oh. Uh, well, here we go. So I was telling um, Jason Berendorf when he was in yeah. here the other day that... Um, and I mentioned AJ Ty needed to produce the goods with his bowling because mm. mm. it's been all mm. over the place. Now, his first delivery on Saturday afternoon slash Saturday evening was an absolute doozy and got out Matt Short mm. with a with a slow and ball like, Yorker. I told him to do that. Yes. And I was like, yes! yes! But the rest of the team... Led by our good friend Ashton Ager. Ashton, I love you. We all think he's we wonderful do. when we, we get a chat. Yeah. Sam, who does uh, all of our digital content, thinks your brother's hot. Yes. <laughs> he's not alone. He's but, a very attractive man. But your bowling man. on Saturday was at well, a level of junior cricket, maybe year under 12s. So, but, Sean, I don't think it was the bowling that, that was really stra- the no, problem on no, the weekend. So it the was. batting no. was so woeful. Under 12? So woeful. Yeah. Under 12. Yes. And who was this? AJ Ty. No, Ashton Agar. Ashton Agar. Yeah. Under 12s. Yeah. Um, can you grow so that? So will we speak to The Ashton bowling next? was bad, but the batting was so atrocious. And admittedly, you know, they'd lost all their talent. So Eskenazi was out with his injured hand. Um, yeah, but Sam Fanning came in and hit 31. Yeah. Then yeah. someone needs to run out to him when the drinks breaks because they get extra drinks breaks, right? Someone needs to run out to him. Hey, Kay, you're off to a great start. Every ball doesn't need to go over the fence for six. <laughs> Tap him down on the toes. Let's just keep the run rate going because your confidence is still high. He gave away his wicket. But getting back to the bowling, I think this set it up. They were playing poorly and held Brisbane to 155, I think it Adelaide. was. Adelaide. Adelaide, whatever it was, the striker, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. They held him to 155, but if you were to break down every over, I reckon you would find that in every over there was four bad balls and two good balls. Now, Perth Scorchers never play like that. So so do they realise that what you've realised and they've got basically an 11-year-old bowling for them? <laughs> <laughs> Do my, they my know? Maybe they I'm don't a know. massive fan of all these but guys. But maybe they don't know that they've got an 11-year-old oh, bowling for That's them. Your, your version of, oh, don't take this personally. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Please, please don't take this personally. But when you're bowling but, um, half-trackers on leg side in a final... Then what the hell's going on, mate? Like, fair dinkum. If you're a professional, knows landed Ashton, in the if, area. If anyone listening knows Ashton, can you text him? Sean McManus says that your bowling mm. was uh, the same standard as under 12s. Yes. So at can, best can, at 11, can could you be a get him to read the disclaimer? <laughs> well, the, um, that he don't thinks be you're offended. a nice guy. Yeah, don't, don't and he's a lovely guy, guy and he's great and all the rest of it. It was the moment. It was the day. It was the stinker. <laughs> it was the bowling. It was the 11-year-old bowling. And the batting bowling. from then on was horrendous, as Nat said. But I, I just think from the moment that you saw them, they were, they were off. Like Lance Morris dropped that Skywood mm, yeah. catch. Morris uh, just... can't catch very well. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we're not going to throw a game. But he's the wild thing. <laughs> disappointing. It was disappointing. Well, we can all agree on that. Come
So today marks five weeks until the Rottnest Island Swim, tw- February what do we 2024. What about that for, Sean? Well, this year, I, well, last year, I decided um, that I would do that mm. and join in and, and write my name down for a solo to try it. I've done the Rottnest Swim in your groups plenty Teams, of times, yep, yep. but I wanted to test myself. And I always say to people, oh, I'd love to do that one day until I said yes to doing it and realised that, Jesus Christ, it's a hell of a lot of work for people who aren't, um, well, Jesus, Jesus Christ, it was easy yeah, for him. He, he walked on water. <laughs> so Jesus Christ just strolled over. Yeah, for him it was just a 20k walk. Yeah, in normal terms, I'm all right, all right swimmer. But when there's when you go to uh, put yourself in this zone, then you've got to do a hell of a lot of work. And it's I know, I, know I find it really, really difficult. And we're training uh, all the time. And this week is the start of a week called Hell Week, which is doing 40k's now, worth of swimming. this must be bad because Sean preempted it last week by yep. sending uh, Nathan and I a long, yep. a long text message talking about how he wouldn't be available to do anything for the show. And yep. we're like, yeah, I know. will I was we skipping notice? Out. Yeah, because I'm, yeah, cause <laughs> I'm <laughs> like, you do so much. Yeah. <laughs> and then hilariously signed it yours faithfully, which was very, yeah. very formal. Mm. So in the mail just the other day, I got a cap from the for the Rottnest Swim yes. that they give to you, and it says first time soloist. Oh. And uh, it made me feel like, oh, this is legit. Like, I'm actually doing this. Are you just going to wear that or, nonstop between now and then? Or this is the thing that we put on your headstone. If it goes bad, <laughs> it's stretch over it. I reckon. Um, hey, well, it's, it's actually perfect yeah, for it an old is, school. Yeah, it is. Yeah. So, yeah. It is. Um, well, that's exciting, Sean. Are you so, happy about that? Hell week. Yeah, I was really, I was really happy with that. Yes. Talk that's us through Hell Week. What, what do you have to do today? So Hell Week begins today. Um, although I swam every day last week, including yesterday, six k's at um, Leighton up to Cottesloe. But today begins five k's for the next four days, and then on um, Friday we swim ten k's. Who's and we? Then well, the, I, I'm part of a squad. Yep. Um, shout out to the Positive Swim Squad, Kynwin Roberts, amazing. The Positive Swim Squad. Mm-hmm. And Kynwin's the one, she like swims to Rottnest, does a tumble turn and swims back again. She's yeah, like she's of, done yeah. it 21 times. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So then <laughs> Saturday, yes, as I said, Friday's a 10 k and Saturday morning mm-hmm. is 10 k's as well. So you have to back up to swim 10 k's twice. Yeah. So well, I'm I mean, really I guess a, you've got to swim about quite, 20 it's quite on the day. It's and quite overwhelming, who's, who's, so you've really got to just stay to one day. Who's monitoring you like, during that swim? Yeah, Is it just sort of like a monitoring yourself? I'm just asking, can you, um, can you like, tie a jet ski to a buoy? <laughs> so where? So are you doing 10Ks in the pool or in the ocean? I think the – so the first day is the 10Ks in the ocean. Yeah. And the second day, I think it's in the pool at this stage. But getting back to being monitored or whatever, yesterday when we were swimming along um, Leighton Beach, yeah. there was a person who had a um, kayaker next yeah. to them, but they were, like, miles away yes. from me. So you can easily – I felt like I was – yeah, I lost uh, – um, I got detached from a group that was in front of me because yeah. they were just faster swimmers, and then you're just swimming by yourself. Yeah. Yes. And then, of course, you're wondering what's yes. coming yes. at me. Is there a large the fish deep. around? Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah. see properly. Because yeah. at least when you're in a group of people, um, then yes. the, the, the shark has a choice of, right. of a buffet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. But, like, you know, you're just no. like, a, and they can't eat like an amuse bouche on a plate there, <laughs> yeah, aren't you? Yeah. So, so, and, of course, you'll have a paddle with you on the day. Yeah. Who's paddling for you? Uh, my mate Dennis's birthday. He comes. He's coming over from the east coast Dennis to do it. Dennis is coming to paddle for you. Yes, he's Dennis for, for his, his birthday. birthday. For his birthday, he's birthday, coming over February to paddle for you. Which uh, he Can said he he'll come over. But I'm confused. He can paddle. So, so what's going to happen is he's he's been getting on a rowing machine and he sent me a message. I said, well, I need someone who's going to be there to help me now. My friend Pete, I rang him yes uh, on Saturday and asked him because I asked um, a few guys in my footy team and they all, and they said, all said no. no basically, you didn't ask me. I didn't ask Nathan. I asked, uh, um, I checked Almost in with my cousin, else. <laughs> my cousin Luke Mack, Rob's brother. Yeah. He he has done it and he helped me out a couple of months ago and he can't do it because he's going to the wrestling on the same day. <laughs> <laughs> And my mate Pete, he was he ummed and ahed until yesterday. He sent me a message and said, "I'm committed. I'll do it with you." Oh, that's so nice. he's saving me. Thank God for that. But I need someone there to be with me so I don't get caught up by a great white Nathan mm. chewing chewing down on my limbs. It would not be great, my Sean. Limbs. It wouldn't. You How need your it limbs. So. Take you to swim ten k's. I, I did it before Christmas, and this so it was a qualifying event in Christmas, and yeah. I did it in two hours and fifty six minutes, oh which God. which on paper says actually that wasn't yeah. that wasn't bad. I, honestly, I reckon for me to do ten k's, I'd need to put put half an hour of my day aside, and uh, he's because about after walking. the half an hour, <laughs> I'd be at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> So my 10Ks would take me half an hour. It's an amazing yeah. feat, Sean. It's an amazing thing to do. Yeah. And are you, are you going to get the number plates? 
I would say so, and I and I, you know, we're we're fortunate enough to um, receive cars from Melville Mazda yeah. as ambassadors, but uh, so I won't be being able to put them on. No, but it's put something. Megan's so car. Put on yeah. Me- yeah, but don't give Megan all the credit. Now everyone we're going, oh yeah. look, she <laughs> must be amazing. amazing. Solo, so, solo. Yeah, I know. what a champion. She looks yeah. so fit. Yeah, yeah. Right, so well, anyway, we're right behind you, Sean. But no, we're, I appreciate we're, that. But nowhere near you, if you know what I mean. And to all those people. Uh, who have who've done this so often? Yeah. I don't know how they do it. Like the commitment's I huge, know. and I can't see myself doing anything beyond this. But um, I take my hat off to those. I mean, well done on, do on like deciding to do something and actually doing it. Because as you know, none of us have any followers. No, no, <laughs> don't worry. I felt like quitting a heap of times. No I wanted to quit. Through. Through. And and no, let's not forget, you have a dodgy shoulder as well. So swimming's not really your friend. No, it's not. I, I've yeah, so I've got to go to the gym all the time to make sure that doesn't cave in on me. But uh, so you're never home, is what you're saying? No, but what I worked out the other day is you start off the morning and you before I did this big swim the other week, um, Panadol, halfway through Panadol, towards the end Panadol. <laughs> Can I tell you something? I read an article yesterday, and a life coach shares the three psychology tips to help you be more magnetic and attractive to others. Oh, right. Oh. And they want to know does it actually work? So here's here's the things. Right, be a good storyteller. Okay. Yeah. Right. Oh, you're all over that. Tell stories. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah. Make others feel special. Mm. I make you feel special yes. all the time. Especially all bad, time. but yes. Mm. No, I that's do. Still I always special. do a job, don't I, Sean? Mm. You look like Simon Baker. You're very good at the man. <laughs> you're the fastest dad in the world. See? I tell him that See? Sort of stuff. you got me. And this is where you right now are the most magnetic, and this is where I falter. Always have something interesting going on. Oh. <laughs> You do. I I don't. I cannot think of one thing that's interesting in my life outside of here. What? Yeah, there's a, that bit of uh, rubber that's hanging down yeah. the top. Yeah, oh, it's pretty interesting. I'll tell everyone about that later. It's very oh, interesting. What a great tease. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're right, Sean. Don't sell yourself How magnetic sure. am I? <laughs> Just became super attractive. Sean Sport is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.